I hate sales. I hate selling. Have you ever heard this before? Have you ever said it yourself? I have. You know, coming from a technical background, you can just imagine me moving into marketing and sales, how difficult that was for me. Until I found and discovered the art of shift the focus. You know, when I was doing my counseling training about 20, 22 years ago, they taught us about shift the focus. In other words, the example they used was, if a husband is unfaithful and he needs to hide this, he doesn't want to come clean, the best way to hide it is to accuse his wife of being unfaithful. That takes the whole emphasis and spotlight away from what he is doing because she is now defending herself. She is now saying, well, I'm not doing anything. And in that way, um, he stays under the radar and whatever he's doing isn't coming to the fore. And when I was starting with marketing and sales, I absolutely hate, hated every single sales presentation. It, it was a total nightmare to me. Till one day I sat down and I listened to the objections my prospect, my potential customer had. And suddenly it dawned on me, isn't this person busy shifting the focus? Where he would go and say that my product is too expensive. And immediately I'm on the defensive mode and trying to justify um, my pricing structures where I'm even willing to discount my prices because I now feel that I have done something wrong, that I'm not adding enough value to charge um, the fee structures that I was charging. The one day I turned around and when a person said to me, um, this is really above his budget, uh, <laughs> It's not what he expected for these kind of services and so on. And I turned around and I said to him, I hear what you're saying, but you know what I can help you with? I can help you to understand how to calculate your return on investment. I can show you, I am prepared to do a free consultation with you and show you uh, return on investment tables and then see if a service like mine is an actual factor match. And even if it is, and you go to someone else um, and use someone else's um, products, I don't mind. I'm confident that I can deliver for you. All I need to do is help you look at your return on investment. And immediately things started becoming so much easier for me. Now when someone says to me, um, uh, who have, who's used your services before? Do you have any testimonials, recommendations, people that used your products that um, can attest to the value thereof? I immediately hear what he's saying. He's saying, I'm scared to use your services because I don't want to be a failure. I don't want to come across as a fraud. I don't want to feel silly and stupid for falling for something like this. So if you start looking at sales in this way, it becomes fun. And suddenly you're starting to get the results. Look for shift of the focus. They, they are saying, I have this problem and they're trying to make their problem yours. When you're in a sales situation, don't go on the defense. Listen to what they're saying. After all, it's all about them. It's not about you. Let's have some coffee this morning. It is raining here. It's lovely. Thank you for having coffee with me.